In the 1800s, a German chemist, Justus von Liebig, had proposed the use of chemical elements like nitrogen that are beneficial to plant growth in soil so that abundant food can be produced around the world. Thus, chemical fertilizers were born. However, Liebig's noble dream to eliminate hunger around the world by increased productivity could not be realized. Around the early 20th century, a British scientist, Sir Albert Howard, objected to the addition of chemicals to agricultural soil. He insisted that it was the health of the soil that determined the growth of plants. However, in his lifetime, he was ridiculed for his beliefs. But later, farmers and scientists around the world realized that chemical fertilizers were the chief pollutants of both the environment and soil. The impact of these fertilizers had become so severe that in Punjab, about 10% of groundwater samples show the presence of noxious chemicals more than the permissible limit prescribed by the World Health Organization or WHO. This paved the need for organic farming wherein biofertilizers are used instead of synthetic chemical fertilizers. Did you know that it was Sir Howard's writings that formed the basis of organic farming? Which is why he is also regarded as the father of organic farming. Biofertilizers are substances containing living organisms such as bacteria, cyanobacteria and fungi that promote plant growth naturally by increasing soil fertility. Moreover, they sometimes form symbiotic associations with plants and aid in inorganic nutrient uptake by the plants. Rhizobium, Azospirulum and Azotobacter are the most commonly used nitrogen fixing bacteria in biofertilizers. Rhizobium bacteria exist symbiotically in the root nodules of leguminous plants where it converts atmospheric nitrogen into usable organic forms for plant use in return for food prepared by plants via photosynthesis. So, it is usually used as an inoculant for legume crops. Azospirulum and Azotobacter, on the other hand, are free-living nitrogen-fixing bacteria that live in soil and convert atmospheric nitrogen into easily absorbable forms such as ammonia. They are usually used for crops such as millets, sugarcane, wheat and maize. Cyanobacteria such as Anabina, Nostoc and Oscillatoria are also used as biofertilizers since they are capable of fixing atmospheric nitrogen in special cells called heterocysts. Similarly, a water fern, Azola, forms a symbiotic association with Cyanobacteria Anabina which helps the plant fix atmospheric nitrogen. Hence, Azola is extensively used as a biofertilizer in paddy fields. Also known as blue-green algae, cyanobacteria are photosynthetic prokaryotic organisms that serve as important biofertilizers worldwide since they add organic matter to soil, thereby increasing its fertility. Even fungi, 
specifically those belonging to genus Glomus, form symbiotic associations like mycorrhiza with the roots of vascular plants. Fungi help the plant absorb phosphorus from the soil. In addition, these plants also show resistance to root-borne pathogens, metallic contamination, salinity, and drought. In return, fungi receive carbohydrates such as glucose from the plants. Moreover, as biofertilizers contain living organisms, they safely convert the complex unavailable nutrients, including remnant chemical fertilizers, if any, into simple absorbable forms, thereby making our environment eco-friendly. As a result, more and more farmers in our country are beginning to rely on these biofertilizers instead of chemical fertilizers because of their obvious utility 